Good evening. This is Peter Christopher Raymond, and I'm going to be reading to you some of my prose. And I shall start with a poem I composed in 2000, and it's called The Walking Dead. And this is how it goes. Vacant stares and graying hairs epitomize my darkest fears. You were here, but now you're dead with grim reminders in your stead. What can I say to comfort the living? I'm haunted by my own misgivings. The weary steps of the pallbearers, the chill of death grows ever nearer. Mine is the maddening stillness, my guilt in your fatal illness, the way you were willing to die the way you appear to peacefully lie, how you never feared death, your final sigh and parting breath. They closed your eyes and folded your arms, yet I can barely imagine the alarm. As you screamed from the pain, tearing flesh and boiling rain, endless agony with no release, realizing life was far too brief. All of its pleasures are gone. You wish you would have held on. Yet, to me you seem at peace, as if your soul had found release. Your friends all speak kindly, as they live out their lives blindly. And they will wind down as well, only to be dispelled. How can I comfort the grieving, to smile yet not be deceiving? To say that you've gone to a better place, when I know in my heart that's not the case. Sometimes I don't want to speak. The truth too sad and the outlook bleak. Scripture tells me that I have hope, and need no longer wander and grope. Yet life is so raw to me. The invisible realities I'm made to see. I see everything wasting away, sweetness and beauty in rapid decay, losing my mother and father some day. How can I make a deceitful display? How can I possibly laugh or smile? Won't it reinforce the denial? Thank you.